Hey everyone, it's Mike from the SEO Pub. And one thing I love is when I have calls with prospects or clients that generate new ideas and new strategies that I can implement in other campaigns. And I had that happen this week. I had a call with a prospect that is in what I'd call a, a not so sexy niche. Uh, it's a line of business that it's a great line of business, but it's a line of business that's really difficult to generate a lot of good topic ideas and content ideas for that target the end user. And there's a strategy that I use for these situations that I've used for years. It's never failed me. So I wasn't too concerned about that. And while I was talking to them, an idea sparked in my head. And I thought, could ChatGPT take that strategy and take it to even greater heights, or at the very least, speed up the process? Because it is kind of a, a resource intensive strategy. It, it takes some time. Before we get into the strategy, though, I want to ask you to head over to the seopub.com if you haven't signed up yet sign up for the email list there where i send out tips and strategies like this every single week so the strategy is about using objections to build out content ideas and i'm always looking for new ways to generate content and topic ideas for clients and this is one of my favorites but it's one i don't think I've ever really shared before. I've worked in sales most of my life and I've been through sales trainings. I've read numerous sales books. One thing that they all focus on is answering customers' objections. And if you're not familiar with it, an objection is really anything other than, yes, I'll buy it or yes, I'll take it. Common objections that are kind of universal throughout every industry that you may hear is, I, I can't afford it. It's too expensive. I, I, don't, I don't think I really need that. Uh, or let me get back to you is another one. Really, objections are questions that customers have that haven't been answered. I can't afford it as a customer asking for you to explain to them how they can afford it. Maybe there's a payment plan. Uh, maybe there's a smaller package that would suit them to get started with. Maybe whatever you're you're selling actually saves money in the long run, but you haven't actually explained that very well, and, and the product will pay for itself. Uh, it's too expensive is really them asking for you to explain why the product or service costs what it does. They, they're not seeing the value in it. Uh, when you hear, I don't really need that, they're asking for you to show them why they do need it. Um, let me get back to you is, is just people asking, why should I buy that today? There's tons of more object objections out there and there's objections that are specific to every product and service out there. But um, you know, what does this have to do with, with creating content or coming up with topic ideas? Well, this is an exercise I do with every new client I start working with. I sit down and brainstorm a list of all the objections that a, a searcher or web visitor to their site may have about I just try to think of every reason why somebody would not buy their product or service then from there I start brainstorming ideas around content that would answer those objections the idea behind it is if someone has an objection to something they and others like them are probably looking for solutions to those objections and this is also a great way to build topical authority which of course is a big buzzword in seo right now and something that everyone's after this is a great way to generate a ton of topics that you can help build towards that topical authority now this process honestly for a lot of clients it used to take me a solid day or two sometimes longer but with chat gpt i tested this out and you can really supercharge it. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention the client that I the prospect that I spoke with this week, um, but I'm gonna use their line of business because as I said before, it's not an easy one to come up with topic ideas for. So it really highlights just how well this works. We're just gonna call this business Acme. And the line of business that they're in though is virtual credit cards for businesses. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into chat GPT and I'm gonna use GPT-4. For something that's kind of important and in depth and involved like this, I like to use GPT-4. It's a little bit slower, but it's trained on a larger data set. Um, I just, I've tested it with both. 3.5, it does work really well with 3.5, but with GPT-4, it works even better. So the first prompt we're gonna enter in here, and I'll have a list of these prompts for you so that you don't have to pause the video or anything. I'll put a list somewhere that you can grab them. But it's, hey, chat GPT. I have a client, Acme Inc., that offers virtual credit cards to businesses that link to their existing credit cards. This service allows them to quickly and easily distribute virtual credit cards among employees that need them, while managing them from an easy-to-use dashboard. What are the main objections a company representative may have to purchasing such a service? Okay, so ChatGPT came up with these uh, 10 potential objections. Cost, security, 
integration, employee training, control and oversight, uh, reliability, redundancy, vendor acceptance, regulatory compliance, and customer support. So what we're going to do, we're going to just drill down on one of these for this example, but normally I would go through all 10 of these. So next prompt is looking at number two, which was up here with security. What are some of the top security concerns a company might have? Okay, so what it did then is it took the security concerns and it broke it down into more specific topics, uh, more specific concerns that uh, a potential customer might have, like data breaches, fraudulent transactions, unauthorized access, weak auth authentication, phishing attacks, card number interception, third-party risk, and compliance with industry standards. Now here's where the magic happens. So next prompt is, I wanna create a cluster of content around these concerns that both explains what they are and answers how Acme alleviates them. Can you help me create topic ideas to build out this content cluster? Each one of the above topics can have more than one piece of content addressing it. They can also be combined together in the same piece of content if that is appropriate. Okay, so here's what ChatGPT did. It broke down each of these potential objections and gave two topic ideas of, of content we could create addressing these objections. For example, data breaches, understanding data breaches and how Acme protects your sensitive information. And then Acme's multi-layered security approach to prevent data breaches. And you can go through, so we have right here, it's 16 content ideas. Now, obviously I would need to go through and make sure that there's search volume for each of these. But with my familiarity with the industry, I can tell you that pretty much all of these would be worthwhile pieces of content to create. And that's just one of the topics. We go back up to the top here. That was just security. There's nine others to go through. And even if ChatGPT doesn't come up with 16 pieces of content for each of these, let's say it averages, you know, 10 or 12, you're looking at well over a hundred potential topic ideas that it generated for you. And we're not done yet. So another thing we're going to do is you can tell ChatGPT to take a look at these from another angle to generate even more potential content ideas. So the next prompt I'm going to tell it is going back to the original concerns a customer may have. Number five was control and oversight. Can you list the ways that a service like Acme provides control and oversight for corporate credit cards? So instead of going from the idea of objections, we're, we're, we're positioning it from the idea of solutions. Okay, so ChatGPT generated a list of 10 potential uh, features that help companies manage their corporate credit card usage. We're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did above the first time we went through with the objections on the security side. And we're gonna give it a prompt that says, I wanna create a cluster of content around these solutions that both explains what they are and answers how Acme offers them. Can you help me create topic ideas to build out this content cluster? Each one of the above topics can have more than one piece of content addressing it. They can also be combined together into the same piece of content if that is appropriate. Okay, so ChatGPT did the same thing again. It created two pieces of content for each of these features or solutions to, to a problem. And again, these are pretty good topic ideas. Um, there's probably some little, a little bit of overlap and I, I wouldn't necessarily use all of these, but still it generated 20 solid topic ideas for me. And just to do a comparison of going through the objection um, process with the same topic. So going back, we'll do the same thing with this, this topic, looking at number five, what are the top control and oversight concerns a company might have? Okay, so it gave us 10 concerns, 10 objections that people might have, and we're going to do the same thing. I want to create a cluster of content around these concerns that both explains what they are and answers how Acme alleviates them. Can you help me create topic clusters to build out this content cluster? Each one of the above topics have more than one piece of content addressing it. They can also be combined together in the same piece of content if that is appropriate.
Okay, so once again, ChatGPT generated two pieces of content, two content ideas for each of these topics. And there's certainly some overlap um, between this method and this method up here. There's going to be some some overlap in the topics, but so you're not necessarily going to have 40 topic ideas. But once you eliminate the overlap and get rid of some of the ideas maybe that, that you don't want to use, you're not going to have 40 pieces of content, but you probably still have at least 25 to 30 um, solid pieces of content that you can generate. And not all of this is going to be necessarily blog content. Some of it might better fit into like a resource center or a help center for, for this type of business. Some of it maybe goes under an FAQ section. Um, but still, and again, this is, you know, we only went through, I use security in this, the first example, control and oversight in, in the second example, and I only did the one method with the security. So you still have cost, integration, employee training, all, all these other ones to go through. You're, you easily could end up with 100 to 150 solid topics to cover about uh, this service and this product just by going through all these objections. So that's just topics for days. All right, so that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't yet, head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there so that you don't miss the next one. Mm -hmm.